Hey y'all. I decided to do a different angle so you guys could see the table a little bit of the reading that I'm gonna do. I was channeled with some important messages for the Divine Feminine in regards to how to come properly into your sacred feminine energy. I know there's been a lot of changes on my channel and things like that. And um, yeah, there's a lot of like other integration of things that I've been going through, what I recognize about sisterhood, divine sacred feminine energies, and why there's always competition between sacred feminines. The reason for competition is that over eons and eons and eons of incarnation we consistently consistently are fighting we have the masculine shield up right this is why we enter distorted feminine energies we think we can control things we then are unable to ground it creates a segregation between what's happening in your life and then how to actually ground the energy is higher up into this world. So to be a real sacred feminine, you've got to be able to balance both that masculine and feminine energy. And it's not about being like a boss babe or, you know, um, anything that the world or the matrix is telling you about what a sacred feminine energy is about. It's more or less about how are you able to receive energies? How are you able to, um, Right. Allow the father energy of the masculine energy to run through you. How are you able to allow uh, that energy and temper it? Okay, I'm getting downloaded with a mushroom ceremony that I did once. And it was very, it was the Terrence McKenna, like the, the, his strain. And um, it's a very aggressive masculine type of energy where it brought up a lot of my own issues in allowing masculine energy to like run through me in that way but that experience showed me that the feminine can counter that type of what we think is perversion or aggression or anger or detachment so nature is on the bottom with teaching and learning so let's see what messages are coming up for the sacred feminine. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you want to work with me, all that info is down below. Don't mind the hair, y'all. It's wild woman hair day. <laughs> let's take a look. What is going on? What does spirit want the sacred feminine to know? Uh, if you really want to work with high potent sacred feminine energy, come hit me up. Um, I have mastered intuitive gifts i'm next level psychic my premonitions always usually come true and over time it does but i mean that's also free will and things like that this a little bit. and um yeah let's see what's going on we have a rebirth just take a look down on my side okay we have rebirth see this is the feminine learning how to regenerate herself listen y'all the regeneration of love that the feminines can do comes from a higher place. Masculines need this energy, okay? You don't need the masculine. I mean, let's get into this. Spirit says you need the masculine with financial discipline, how they're structured, how they're able to, um, you know, grow within themselves in their financial discipline, the balance between their uh, material world, right? So divine feminines have to be able to rebirth no matter what energies the masculine energies are portraying, okay? It could be in a person or it could be in your physical world, your mission work, your financial issues, your how are you grounding your feminine energy? Are you um, being really honest with yourself and not living in the woo-woo land, okay? Let's talk about the woo-woo land. Yes, your intuition is good that's where your creativity comes from it's fun it's adventurous it's synchronistic so the energy world is where sacred feminines live from um we really do okay sacred feminines live from that space um i want you guys to see the table so you have to be able to pull in you know look at this five five high change you have to be able to pull in these really high codes okay and connect to the creator in a really really powerful way and when you do that you get creative outlet so your creativity picks up now some of you have tapped into that and others haven't been able to ground it right when you're grounding it the issues that we have okay sacred feminine the issues that we have in grounding this energy is living in a dogmatic 
aggressive masculine energy. Now, it is also the ability to understand the potential for violence and masculine energy, but realizing that that's not necessarily a bad thing. Okay. The potential for what a masculine's strict discipline, their control, their ability to hold violence and aggression. We as sacred feminines think that that is what's turning the world upside down. That is actually a piece of what I'm hearing as sacred feminine not being able to temper the container as well when a masculine shows that energy because that is a proof that that masculine can actually protect the sacred feminine. Think about that, okay? The potential for violence in a masculine to lead, to be disciplined, to be focused, right? Um, triggers the divine feminine. Tell me how. Forgiveness. To come into a place of forgiveness because sacred feminine, that's actually what you're attracted to. You can be all boss babe, bitch. You can be all these really independent. I'm like next level independent woman, right? Um, but if you're unable to surrender that to your masculine side and to how you're manifesting in this world, you're always going to hit roadblocks in manifestation of monetary wealth, of structure and all of that. If you are cons- And these are for masculines too, right? There are masculines that don't want to build in the same way. They're tapping into the feminine side, right? To intuitively feel the container that the feminines are bringing forth. Now, the whole aspect is what they're bringing forth in the feminine container is, um, you know, a lot of women are like, oh, I can't, there's, there's no awakened masculines. This isn't a thing. Well, if you're sitting in a place that there's no awakened masculines, that's because you haven't been able to surrender to the rawness of what masculine energy really is all about. Okay, focused, leadership, self-disciplined, dominant. Okay. Um, we are never going to be women like men. We, we don't want to be like that. We are the container. We bring the well of abundance. Okay. We nurture and regenerate. And if that is an issue for you, Right? Tell me what the issue is with this regeneration for feminines. Let's get into it. What are the feminines having issues with? Nature. Your connection to nature. Now, I'm not just talking about, let's go sit in the grass and then, no, no, no. I'm like, are you actually in communion with nature? Look at your temple. Your temple will tell you if you're really connected to nature. Okay? You are connected to the plants. You are connected to the animals. You are connected to the earth, the soil. Can you walk barefoot on the earth? Can you go sit in the mud? We used to do that with Temescal. We don't, not the fancy Temescals in the sweat lodges that you see for Taurus. I'm talking about sitting in the dirt with Mother Earth in a sweat lodge, crammed shut like this with other women. (laughs) I was not wearing underwear, sitting in the mud. All right. Being one with the earth in a real way. It, there is a rawness to feminine energy, a wildness that is tempered by the masculine, which is structured by the masculine. Masculines have to learn how to be in that self-discipline to be able to create a structured container for the wildness of sacred femininity. Sacred femininity yields all the abundance. That's a regeneration, right? So let's get into your mission work then, Divine Feminine. Where is it that that we're having issues with this because you're trying to ground into the 3D world. It's not the worlds and the systems that are the issues. It's the point of evolution that we're at in our world. You can always see the good. You can always see the bad, but it is what it is. We pick this timeline and what is actually happening in the world with mo- with digital ID, all this other crap, right? We're going to have to learn how to work with it, be creative to find the loopholes, And to trust that how spirit is leading you is to build in a really different way. So what is going on with feminine energy? The abundance, right? Where are you being manipulated? Solar plexus stuff. Self-identity. Who are you? Okay. Um, And manipulation. 
Do you constantly think that you're being manipulated in your world? Do you constantly think that you're sitting in a victim mentality that people are out to get you? Are you constantly sitting in your life? You know, nothing is working out. I can't do this. Things are always against me. My money is like, it's either a loss or a, look at this picture. It's really interesting because one has lost something and the other person has found it. Where you feel you lose things or you feel a victim mentality. It's constantly like, I'm striving, I'm doing, nothing is happening, nothing is manifesting. Spirit's like, where is your flow? Divine Feminine, where is your need to control? Why are you trying to control the manifestation? You're magnetizing. Divine Feminine creates a container that she's all abundant and things are magnetized to you. Now, that doesn't mean that you don't set your boundaries and you don't set your truth and you don't, you know, keep your vibration pure. That's one thing. Who are you allowing into your temple, right? Tell me this. So first thing Spirit is saying is where are your boundaries and who you're actually allowing into your temple, okay? It's bittersweet. What brings you joy? Are you offering to the wrong people? Are you working with the wrong people? Are people not honoring you and what you're doing? So if this is the case, you've got to really focus, Divine Feminine, of what's bringing you joy. Your self-esteem, your soul identity of who you really are. And let's see, what is... And you've got to release. This is the hard part with the feminines. It's like... It's... Right. Thank you, Spirit. Believing that the universe is going to fully um, just give it to you. Okay? Um, and to a certain extent, as Divine Feminine Energy, we attract and it happens. Um, yes. It does. It, it, Spirit does give it to you. Okay? Like, I don't have to do YouTube. People find me in book readings. Okay? Because of word of mouth. It's a certain level of magnetism that you hit. So when you start hitting certain points of magnetization, you've got to balance that with your actions in the 3D world to buy them in. Right? You've got to be very clear on what the energy is, the new timeline, the new frequencies, when you hit that point, and are you manipulating and tricking yourself out of where your focus is at? right? So this is really about divine feminines coming into their balance with their masculine energy. You cannot manifest a true sacred awakened masculine if you're not, not awakened to the masculine within yourself. Tell me about this. I know I've talked about this recently. That's why you're in isolation. So if you're finding yourself in isolation, it's to revamp yourself. Let's get some tarot. It's to revamp yourself, divine feminine, okay? Six of Swords, four, yeah, wake up. You have to move on to calmer waters here, okay? Um, seven of Pentacles, you know, long-term investment. Stop fighting where you're putting your investment in. Do not focus on the outside world, okay? The outside world are simply instances of your manifestation. This is for anybody, masculine or feminine. The, the masculines have to come into their intuitive heart space, right? The masculines have to surrender some of their discipline, to experience pleasure and the wildness of sacred feminine energy, to feel the, the take that energy and to build with it, right? To, um, it's like a replenishing with masculine energy, right? Um, where they need to follow that intuitive piece, but you can't do that. You can't magnetize that divine feminine until you are in your balanced state, right? This is why um, I'm gonna run a retreats and stuff like that next year because it's like, um, to bring women back into that container, sensual, your sensuality, your magnetization, your sexuality, your creativeness, your beauty, your temple, your health, your mission, your psychic abilities. Divine feminines have to develop psychically. You're, that That's how we um, bring in the higher realm, okay? Channeling your creative forces building your and if you and i can hear people i don't want to build a business i don't want to do that well you're gonna to have to figure out how to share your gifts with the world because that's what feminines do that's the temple like the temple is built and then everyone goes to the temple right if you're not building your temple with your gifts you're just a, a boulder sitting there not doing anything right and that then you have to control everybody and everything that's distorted feminine energies
right? Destroyed a feminine energy since they need to control, manipulate, taunt, seduce. You don't have to do that. If you're in your energy, sacred feminine, all of that comes to you, okay? So let's pull some tarot. What is going on with sacred feminines at this time? So I know I've been away. Um, and the reason is because I've had to integrate a lot in my own path and changes in my own path. I'm doing retreats next year and working with some people who are going to be building the retreats with me and stuff like that. And, um, and it's also summer and my family is here and um, kids and all that stuff. So you guys know summers are like that for me. So let's take a look. What is going on? What do you want the sacred feminine to know here, spirit, in the details? What's the guidance here for sacred feminines at this time? You're manipulating yourself. If you are having manipulation, magician, things not manifesting, um, manipulation, people taking advantage of you, it is because you're doing that to yourself. We're going to get some hard talk, divine feminine. It cannot manifest unless it is in you. Whatever is in you comes out on the outside. Yes, people can attack you. Yes, people can do dark work on you. Yes, people can victimize you. But that is because somewhere in yourself, you are victimizing yourself, right? We as sacred feminines have to come into this power. It's magical power, y'all. Yeah. All right. I'm working with some women who are like the synchronicities are through the roof with some of the women that I'm working with. Like we're having the same visions. We're having the same um, energy downloads together because that's as a sisterhood. Sacred feminines come together and we have the same um, energy downloads. We're seeing the same visions. We're aligned because the creator gives us all those visions to align. Um, to build the sacred womb, to build that energy template, right? So you're manipulating yourselves out of this sisterhood to find feminine. Some of you that are resonating, okay? So let's get real with it. What do you need to do here? Because you're stuck in a place of four cups. What have you lost? God's like, I'm trying to open you up. I know it's hard. Now, if you're feeling uncomfortable, the reason you're feeling uncomfortable is because you're resistant. If you're uncomfortable, you're going to be resistant. If things are happening and blowing up in your world, it's because you are resistant. Creator is forcing you. You don't want to be forced on the path. You want to be able to surrender. Everything is a constant surrender. So if you are having resistance towards masculine energy and you want to manifest masculine energy, if you are resistant to what they know, what their power is, and you think you know better than them, then how is a man ever going to lead, right? That is, and these are gender roles, okay? Um, you cannot change the law of gender if you want to manifest go look at the, the universal laws of manifestation and creation okay there is the law of gender the law of giving and receiving the law you can't change those things so all of this feminist bullshit like oh a man has to lead and a woman has to stay home barefoot and pregnant well yeah there are certain truths about there it's not that a woman can't have a business and a woman can't do things but the woman is the one who takes care of the container and the home a lot of women fight that. A lot of women fight it. And that's because of karmic issues and whatever, okay? So sitting in a place of loss, I think you need to look back, some of you, about gender roles. You know, there's dominant, submissive. You have to have those aspects, you know, even within yourself to manifest that on the outside of yourself. What's dominant and what's submissive within you? Where is your dominant masculine on the inside? Where is your submissive nature as feminine? Feminines are very submissive. Right? They're constantly surrendering where masculines take the lead. So where are you resisting that within your life? It's, yeah, you've got to make a decision here, right? You've got to like move and make the decision about how you are focused in your life. Tell me what feminists need to know about masculine energy within themselves and what they're manifesting. Getting over betrayals of the men that have done you wrong in the past. Get very clear. Okay. Get really clear about, you know, yeah, men have done women dirty. Yeah, we get it. This is how you know how to set boundaries with yourself. Okay? This is how you know, I don't, I deserve, I'm going to just set, state this boundary and this is what I deserve. And then you flow with how it is and you go by your intuitive knowing. You be direct, you go by your intuitive knowing. You be direct, focus, mask and feminine energy. You state your your truth, you take action, your focus, your discipline, you're getting guidance on what you need to do. And then you're clear with that queen of swords, right? 
but get over the shit. Get over the victimization mentality. This person did me wrong. This always happens to me. Nah, 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 nah. Do you see how you're berating yourself? And where does that inner talk come from? It's from family ancestral karma, okay? And that's how darker energies get into you, right? If you are constantly focused on trying to fix the darkness, you can't do that. And this is for masculine energy too. The masculine energy has to focus on the abundance, on the goal, on the outcome, and to stay focused in that way and not get off track that way. Feminines have to do that on the inside as well. It's harder for feminines to do that because we're all feeling and so like, ah, you know, and that's beautiful, but that's the energy you're channeling through. Then you got to get, when that energy flows through you into a certain point into your, like your solar plexus and stuff like that, and into your root chakra, and then you've got to ground it. Well, that's birth, right? And some of you haven't had children, but birth teaches you a lot, right? If you get your periods, okay? It's not easy. I know some of you haven't had periods for a while either, but remember the pain. It, and it's not suffering. It's the natural contrast of how it feels to birth high energies into this world, to bring that into a 3D place. It's going to take some structure and uncomfortability and that's something that a lot of women don't want to experience. They want to go live in the matrix of the man's world and pretend that they're men and pretend that they can do what men do with and then denying their intuitive knowing. And they get little hits of their intuition, but then they're unable to fully ground it, right? So you got to get really clear, get over yourself, get over the betrayal and learn. This is not going to be the traditional way of how higher fit in reverse. You're not learning the lessons for sacred feminists. It's not going to be the same way and how you've done things your whole life. It's just not going to be that way. The relationship that you want is not going to be what you think it is. It's not going to move in the way that you think it is. It's not going to be the person that you think it is. It's not going to be the outcome that you think it is. It's a journey, right? It's 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 not the destination. It's the journey of it all. Um, your mission is not your business. It's going to go through different forms of change and revamping. You're going to get different ideas. You're going to be really confused for a bit. The confusion is getting you refocused. So allow it all in is what I'm hearing. Okay, Divine Feminines, you have to allow it all in to know your discerning piece. And yes, some of it's going to feel uncomfortable. Some of it's going to feel like really toxic, but you have to look at it. you got to allow it. It's magnetizing to you for a reason. Don't say no is what I'm hearing. That's the only way that you can move forward with the chariot. Okay, don't say no. Release have it the discernment. You've already gone through enough, right, to know what is good for you, what isn't good for you. You already learned certain lessons to be able to um, know where your focus is and be like, no, that's an old pattern. I've been there before. I've seen that. I need to not be victimized by it, but I need to set, speak it into existence in a firm manner, right? You don't have to be aggressive, firm and concise. And then I'm going to go to the next piece that's come into my vibration and work with that. Or is there something that may not be so black and white, might be like a yes or no answer. Maybe like, I got to sit with that. You know, you have to figure out divine feminine, how you're creating your alchemy womb. Okay. This is what I help women with. Okay. The new beginning can't come until you do this. So if you're struggling, hit me up for a coaching session. There are 90 minutes. It's worth the money. Some people take months to integrate it. It is worth every cent. Um, people change. Go look at my website. Women change with me. I catalyze women. I have sacred. I'm a sacred goddess energy. It aggravates people. <laughs> it aggravates a lot of people. It, aggra it aggravates distorted feminine energy. But if you're willing to do the work and take the, that catalyzing energy and be initiated in high priestess energy, then come and do a session with me because I'm telling you this, you can't get this new beginnings. All right. And this new path here. Wow. I can't into Empress mode. Spirit's calling you. All right. If this is resonating for you and you're not sure how to move through those blocks and integrate it into this world, then you need to work with me. This is look at this, get on the path to my feminine with the Empress mode. Okay. Three of Cups, Nine of Wands. It's about celebration, sisterhood, coming together and persevering on your path. You know, this is why I did my membership, but I couldn't keep the membership going because it was, um, it just, it just wasn't helping the women um, in the sense I find, I'm going to be honest, I find a lot of women hang on to my energy, right? 
a lot of people actually humans hang on to my energy because I have a, a lot of that wisdom and stuff like that um which is fine which is why I'm doing the work that I'm doing with you guys but the thing is is that's also a form of lack right i have to stop the membership because you've also got to come into an awareness divine feminine that what you see in me is in you but then when you have issues with the teacher or the teaching it's because it is a block within you um mhm yeah because i I've, i've hit where i'll tell you where i've hit if you work with me right I've hit all of the insecurities and facades that you're going through. And I can bring you into the mist- that mysticism here. I've ended those things to bring you into union with your person. Okay? A lot of y'all are dealing with karmic energies. I'm going to tell you if you want your true masculine, it's not going to be um We'll get it on another video is what I'm being told because it's not what you think you desire with the nine of cups in the bottom. But we're going to do that in another video. This was really for feminines in how to come into a really strong place within yourself of balancing your yin and yang. And we're going to cut the deck of where you've been stuck. <laughs> okay. What you need to work on with the eight of pentacles. That's all I'm going to say so much love all the info is down below come work with me bye guys